Hello friends, I'm going to do a number of videos on how to use a graphic calculator. I believe a graphic, uh, the graphic calculator is a great tool in this modern world where uh, our emphasis should be more on interpreting information and not waste time in a tedious calculation. Having said that, I also believe that there's no point in learning something by pressing some keys and not knowing what that answer tells or how the graphic calculator works. So my emphasis would be to check your answer and not waste your time, precious time in exam situation uh, in doing uh, uh, tedious calculations. So let us uh, get started. So uh, the learning objective of this video is to show you how to use uh, your graphic calculator to draw box and whisker and compare statistics. So here I have got, okay, the question is calculate summary statistics and draw box and whisker plot or graph of the following data. So here I've got uh, hand span, which should be in centimeters probably, and frequency. So what does this mean is there are two pe people with a hand span of 15, 8, with a hand span of 16, and so on and so forth. Okay, so so what I have done is, uh, this is the graphic calculator that I have. It's a Casio FX9960G calculator. So this is the, uh, the data. I already entered the data. This is hand span of 15, frequency of 2. So I want to drop uh, the box and whisker and also calculate the stuff, summary statistics. So before drawing the box and whisker, uh, what we do is always go, first you enter the data. So this is your hand span and this in list two, I've entered the frequency. So I'll always go and check the setup. I'll go to set. So this is the stat graph one. The graph type it says by default is an is on scatter. So I want to change that into median. So I'll scroll, I'll move the cursor to scatter and press F6. Now this box, uh, F2, under F2, means the median box. So if I click on F2, it says median box, which is the box and whisker plot. Okay, now they're asking you where's your X list or where's your variable. So my variable, uh, is in list one, so that's right. So now they're asking you, what's your frequency or where's your frequency? So I know my frequency is in list two, so I'll scroll down and now I'll press F2, which is list. Now they're asking you, where's your frequency? So I'll say, okay, that's in list two. So click, I don't want the outlier and then exit. Okay, so it has, and also look at select. So in, when you uh, press F4, the stat graph one is on. Okay, so you can exit from there. And then if you press F1, there, there is it. There it is your box and whisker plot for uh, hand span and frequency. Okay, now if I want to check uh, what is one variable stands, one variable, uh, shows if I press F1, it will tell me the summary statistics. So if I press F1, so this, the first X bar is the mean. Okay, so the mean of hand span is 20.05. Sigma X is the total of the hand span. So we are not interested in those, so my focus is on the lowest value. So the lowest value is 15. Uh, you can check it. So your lowest value is 15. Okay, now uh, your lower quartile, Q1 uh, is your lower quartile. So lo your lower quartile is 19, that's fine. Your median is 20, your upper quartile is 22, that is Q3, and your maximum is 25. And again, you can draw if you want. So this is your box and whisker of the first data. So, so let us, so we already know this, so that's fine. Let us move on to one more example. Now, so 
So the example is like this. Here is a selection of nightly room rates in dollars of 25 hotels in Auckland in October and January. So this is the data. So you've got 25 uh, uh, room rates or nightly room rates in October and December. Sorry, October and January. Now what's the question? The question is calculate the summary statistics for both the months. So again, what I have done is I've entered the, uh, so let me exit. So yeah, this is your, this is the data of October and this is the data of January. Now, uh, if suppose you want to sort this, okay, there's a very easy way of sorting this. So let, let me show you how to sort this, which is very useful when you want to draw the stem and leaf plot. Uh, which takes a hell of a lot of time to uh, order them and then draw the box uh, stem and leaf plot. So, if you exit from here, uh, F2 is calculate. So, calculate. I want to cal press F1, which is the first variable. Uh, sorry. So, so calculate. Uh, uh, First variable. Okay. Mm, so. Okay. So if you press F6, sorry, if you press F6, uh, F2. Let me go to F1. Yeah. If you press F1, this again in F1, this is sorting in ascending order. SRTA stands for sorting in ascending order. So I I want to sort list three in the ascending order so i'll press f so let me go back so what you do is suppose in the, uh, uh, when you have this you to press f6 and then go to two and again f1 so they're asking you sort list into ascending order how many lists do you have so i have one list and now where is your list so i my list is list three uh, and then so it's now sorted okay okay now if you want to do the same thing I want to sort list four in the ascending order so sort how many list do you have I've got one list and now they're asking you where is your list so that's in list four here we go so here this is October and January is sorted in the ascending order okay I want to draw uh, the box and whisker plot uh, side by side so what I do is I go to graph uh, select see this is graph stats graph 1 is on and this is stat graph 2 is off so I will turn that on okay so exit from there and then you have to select so so yeah uh, this is for stat graph my list should be list three so i should change that to list three uh, and uh, the frequency is one i should press one because i don't have each frequency is coming only once okay so i press one there okay okay now again go to select i want to uh, go to graph two so graph two is by default on scatter. I want to change that to median. And for graph two, I want to list four. I press list four and uh, frequency one. That's fine. Go to select, confirm your stat one graph and two is on, exit, and then you can draw. Oh, cool. This is not working, so select. And I have to draw here. So I draw here. Ah, it's not doing. Sorry. There's something wrong. So I'll continue this in my next video. Thank you.